Hello, welcome to DP Tutorials. In this tutorial, let's understand about budgets and how to define them in Priora. Budgets consist of total estimated quantities and the cash flow required to complete any particular project. In this tutorial, let us see in detail and learn how to establish a budget and note the change logs of the budgets and track monthly spending of them and variances at various levels in our organization from right from enterprise EPS to projects and down to the work breakdown structure that is WBS. In the planning stage, we need to do the top-down budget estimation. We need to categorize the budget and divide them to the EPS and then to the projects. So, if I assign some budget to the entire project and it must be cascaded to the lower levels among the EPS nodes and each EPS node shall be distributed to the projects in the particular EPS and the next step would be we need to log the budget details here in the original budget for suppose if I am considering some around $6,000 for this particular EPS I would be distributing for the two projects as 3000 and 3000 here as well for the two projects. So my total EPS is 6000 and I'm dividing this into two projects now. And then we need to plan our spending plan at the EPS node for the month wise. So if I, if you consider my project, it is being planned from February to April. So I need to plan my spending plan for the three months. So I'll be giving my total budget is 6000. So I would be giving the spending plan as 2000 per month. This is an exemption giving an illustrated figure. So 2000 into 3 is 6000. So this is my planning for the particular EPS node now. And this must be cascaded to the projects as well. So for project 1, uh, my plan for spending is 3000 is my total budget. So I would be spending 1000 each per month. Similarly for this project. So now we have cascaded the spending plan to the both EPS nodes and project level. And let's see how to establish budget planning stage. This is how we establish the budget at the planning stage. This can be refined as project progresses. Now I am opening the project 1 after entering the budget logs and spending plans. I am opening the project by right clicking it. And to establish the budgets, go to WBS here directly or you need to go to this project and click on WBS and here at the top WBS level at the project level you can see the total budget asset for the particular project as 3000 and we need we also entered the spending plans now this has to be cascaded to the WBS so if it is 3000 I am assuming it as thousand dollars for each WBS for the time being this is for only illustration purpose Thousand. Similarly, enter the spending plans. Each WBS node has been distributed for three months, so I would be the three thousand. I would be giving thousand dollars each. So we enter the monthly spending plan for the. We have distributed the monthly spending plan for the WBS also. Once you are done with this, go to this WBS and see this values marked in red color why this is done let's explain we have planned the for the project as thousand dollars per month but the spending plan tally comes from the bottom up that is from the wbs nodes if we add up all the wbs breakups then it will be adding to this 1250 per month so this is planned and this is actual execution mode of this undistributed that is the variance between the plan and the actual proposed budgets and uh, this part in red color because these are now negative and let's next understand the tracking budget changes in the budget log itself you can add here budgets change logs if i would like to have some 150 additional dollars and responsibility you can give this particular obs and if it is approved it will be going into the current budget if it is not approved and spending it will be treated as a proposed budgets now let's assume it is approved and given reason not the number as change number as one we can maintain this so if you go to this project and see the spending plans budget summary you can view the plan is three thousand but we have added see distributed budget is three thousand but this market dollars are meaning to so this is my current budget 
the variance is this much so here we can view the summary tab this enables to see the current budget distributed budget and, and unallocated budget and benefit plan total for overall budget from here so this is how we have understood now budget block spending plan and budget summary and let's understand the funding source go to this enterprise and click on this funding sources there you can see the funding sources these are the primary sources where i get the funding for the projects click on add to add some other project funding source for example like governments and certain investment bankers and you can even assign these for each wbs project activity levels we are done with this now if you would like to see any particular report you can actually generate some particular budget reports you can add some columns relating to this budget spending actuals originals and then you can see the budget reports comparing the original budget and amounts assigned to this each activity level and the current variance resulting from budget spending on those particular activity today so this will help you in analyzing the and tracking these budgets for different projects at different point of time i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial this next tutorial we will understand about project codes and how to establish them in Panama. I hope you understood this video tutorial. Please do subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thank you.